Tom Brady from yesterday. I like him at the way that I like him, which is at 12.5. I mean, to me, that's a perfect grip for the football. I did not feel the difference between the first half and the second half when supposedly they were inflated to the, uh, you know, original, even more inflated. I didn't notice any difference. I, uh, you know, I didn't obviously think there was anything different between halves. So Tom Brady uh, taking the hits from reporters for nearly an hour, but insisting he knew and noticed nothing. His head coach, Bill Belichick, earlier in the day and live here in America's newsroom, saying essentially the same thing. But why has the league been so quiet? Sportscaster and Fox News contributor Jim Gray with me now out of L.A. And Jim, good morning to you. Uh, he stood morning, there, Bill. as I mentioned, for almost an hour. What did you think? Did you believe Brady or not? Yes, I did. Uh, I do believe what Tom Brady had to say yesterday. Uh, he's been an upstanding character. He has pursuit of excellence and dedication his work ethic and I don't think that there's any reason in the world why he would come out there and lie why would he risk everything to tell a story that he says he doesn't know so yes I do believe Tom Brady what I find fascinating developing Jim and I'll get to the league in a moment here is that you can see these NFL players almost dividing themselves in two different camps whether they support uh, the explanation or not and, and I thought watching ESPN and seeing the reaction from a former NFL quarterback by the name of Mark Brunel, spent most of his time for Jacksonville, the Jaguars in Florida. Um, he was asked whether or not he believed Brady. And immediately afterwards, this is how he responded. I did not believe what Tom had to say. Those balls were deflated. Somebody had to do it. Um, and I don't believe there's an equipment manager in the NFL that would, on his own initiative, deflate a ball without the starting quarterback's approval. Um, I just, I just didn't believe what Tom Brady had to say. And he, he was clearly emotional, too, when he answered that. So you got people like Burnell and Troy Aikman are saying they don't believe it. In the meantime, you got people like Joe Theismann and Boomer Siason saying this is no big deal. Now, what is it? Well, I think we have to know all the facts, so let's deal with what we know. Dequell Jackson has come out. He was the man who intercepted the ball from Tom Brady, turned it over to the equipment manager. But it turns out that that had already been taken out of play that the Patriots had been playing with balls that were fully inflated earlier in the half than we had known. We had thought that it had happened at halftime. But Dequell Jackson says no, the balls had already been changed. And so we just have to wait to see what the NFL investigation finds. These balls were deflated somehow, some way. Bill Belichick, he's had a credibility problem in the past with Spygate. That's why the Patriots and Tom Brady and many others in the organization are now in this circumstance because of his credibility factor in the past. But I believe Belichick, too. I don't believe that Bill Belichick told anybody on his staff or the trainers or anybody to go doctor football. So mm. I take him at his word in this instance, and I don't believe that he would lie. Okay, I let's, also don't believe that Tom Brady told yeah. anybody to do it. So let, let's move somebody to did the, it somewhere, and we're going to have to wait and find out. Right, but let's move to the league in the NFL. They're nine days away from the biggest moment all year, the Super Bowl in Arizona. Now, Brady said the NFL didn't talk to him. I think a lot of people kind of said, why, why would that be? And what has their investigation turned over? We don't know. Um, would you expect the NFL to clarify this ASAP, or is the league trying to delay until after the big game next Sunday? I don't know that they're trying to delay. I'm sure they're trying to ascertain all of the information. But it seems to me, Bill, that this is an officiating problem and this is a process problem. Why in the world, with two hours and 15 minutes before the game, would the officials check the balls, certify the balls, and then turn them back over to non-league employees or not have an official there? What in God's name leads them to believe that that is a good system? Perhaps that has been the system in the past, and perhaps they felt that system has worked. But we now find that it is flawed, considerably flawed, beyond flawed. It's a bad idea. It's a bad process, and they need to change that. And the officials are handling the ball every play, and we're now told that the officials took these balls out of play much earlier than we expected. Look, the game was 45 to 7. We've been through all that, Bill. Blowout. And even DeQuell Jackson said that they didn't lose the game because of the pressure of the football. They lost yeah. because of intensity. So I think However, you, the you intent just, is yeah. such that you have to investigate this and find out because yeah. if it was done, we have to find out how and why. Yeah, I think you touched on something there, though, and that is what happened to the pregame because the NFL has not proven that their own officials actually did carry out the policy as written according to the league. Did they do their job? 
or is the NFL not enforcing its own rules prior to kickoff? Perhaps there's the story. We also, I agree with that, Bill. We don't know that. We have to wait and hear that. And it's also now starting to trickle out. Some of it's rumor, some of it's innuendo, some of it's speculation. But there also is these trickling leaks that perhaps the 11 of the 12 balls that they have found to be deflated are nowhere near the two pounds underweight of the PSI, that it's, you know, um, much, much less. So we have to know the weights of all those balls. Look, there's a lot of facts we don't know. So to keep speculating about it and keep all this rumor, yes, it has. It has a life of its own. And it's because it's the Patriots. If this were the Titans and the Jaguars, this wouldn't even be a story. Well, it's, the NFL it's only a story it's because the of the past of the Patriots. Yeah. And because, mm -hmm. in, addition, in addition, there are a lot of teams that don't like the Patriots. There's a lot in the media who don't like dealing with Bill Belichick and the way that he handles things. And so some of these issues also come into play. Thank you, Jim. Jim Gray from L.A. We'll talk soon.